Welcome to part one of the fourth phase of the series on how to perform supervised classification using Otis Imagine. Otis Imagine provides the analyst with the following methods for evaluating and testing the accuracy of the classification. Create classification overlay, set a distance threshold, recode classes, and accuracy assessment. This phase on evaluating the classification will be covered in two videos. In part one, we will use the set distance threshold method, and in part two, we will go through the accuracy assessment method to evaluate our classification. Let's get started. We will begin with the set distance threshold. In three viewers, load the continuous multispectral image, the distance image, and the thematic classified image in each viewer respectively. Arrange the viewers using the vertical layout mode so that they can be viewed side by side. In our video on productivity tools in Erdis Imagine, we demonstrated how this can be done. Spatially link and sync your three views to each other. Now the analyst is ready to evaluate the classification. Remember the value stored in the distance image is the Euclidean or Mahalanobis distance from the pixel to the signature mean of its final class. Therefore, the larger the pixel value, the further it is from the signature mean, and as such, brighter pixels in the distance raster corresponds to the most likely incorrectly classified pixels. By setting a distance threshold for each class, the system will screen out pixels that most likely do not belong to that class. In the viewer containing the classified imagery, do the following. Open the Supervised Classification menu from the Raster tab and select Threshold. From the Threshold dialog, click File and select Open. In the Open Files dialog, under the Classified Image, load the Superclass image created earlier and on the Distance Image, load the Distance Image and click OK. In the Threshold dialog, click View and select Viewer, then click in the view that displays the Supervised Classification file. In the Threshold dialog, click Histograms, then Compute. The histograms for the distance image file are computed. There is a separate histogram for each class in the classified image file. In the cell array of the threshold dialog, note the black triangle indicating that the first class is active. Click on the histogram icon to open the distance histogram for that class. The title of the diagram indicates the respective class name that you assigned. Resize the window to see the histogram better. Click the arrow on the x-axis of the histogram graph to move it to the position where you want to threshold the histogram. The chi-square value in the threshold dialog is updated for the current class as you move the arrow. The histogram is updated for this class. In the threshold dialog cell array, set the second class as active. Repeat the steps, thresholding the histogram for each class in the threshold dialog cell array. After you have set the threshold for the histogram in each class, click close in each distance histogram dialog. Click Show Attribute of the Supervised Classification Image. Select all the attributes and in the Threshold dialog, click View. Select View Colors and set it to default colors. In the Threshold dialog, select Process then choose To Viewer. The Threshold mask is placed in the view over the Supervised Classification Image. When you use the default color setting, the threshold mask contains the following. Black pixels representing pixels beyond the threshold setting, respective classified color pixels representing those pixels remaining in the classification. From the Home tab, click Swipe and Flicker to see how the classes were thresholded. Remove the threshold layer from the viewer. When asked if you'd like to save your changes, click No. Now we can save the threshold output to a file. In the threshold dialog, click Process and select To File. Specify the name as your file name underscore threshold.img. Click OK to output the threshold image and wait for the thresholding process to complete and then close the threshold dialog. Load the threshold image and view areas excluded by the adjustments made. These pixels are now part of the unclassified group of pixels. The analyst may have to remeasure some of the signatures or create a mask until the desired results are achieved. That's it for this phase on evaluating the classification using the set distance threshold in Otis Imagine. In our next video, we will go through the steps involved in smoothing the classification. Remember to subscribe to the channel and hit on the bell icon to get automatic notifications every time we upload a new video to our channel or to this series.